Looks like an aberration in time. Cement block buildings on the side of the highway. One outhouse and two water pumps for ten families. The backyard is a pigsty and garbage dump too. This pocket of squalor is three miles outside Selma, Alabama. The locals call it Slave City because it reminds them of conditions slaves lived in. Storekeeper D.H. Willis owns it and charges $40 a month to live here. But through the work of a citizens group and Selma Mayor Joe Smitherman, 20 families like Lutherine Reeses are moving out. How long did you live in here? Uh, about 16 years. 16 years? Uh, you feel, uh, are you happy to leave here? Yeah, I'm going to be out here because that mood. Okay. Right, huh? That mood. How about living in here? What's it been like over the last six years? Well, if you had a picture of women, I ain't got no women. One room, ain't got no one there at all. All her worldly possessions packed on a city garbage truck doubling as a moving van. Mrs. Reese, her daughter, and grandson left 16 years of Slave City behind them to start a new life at federally subsidized housing in Craig Airfield, a defunct military base. When I walked in, you shot they look like I walked in here. is just $2.30 a month, which is one reason her new neighbors aren't exactly throwing out the welcome mat. I don't see the city of Selma doing anything to help.